Hey guys, welcome in. And this team event, like a lot of other team events, has been crazy. Like the matchups that you're getting is crazy. Um, I'm going up against 2,600 players, and the worst thing is I will be putting up a video at some stage. Just they just go for the YOLO attacks and. Man, they just run down the board with a good DOA, um, Latios, Latias, any of those. And they just go running down. And if they get the RNG, I've had them take out three, four ones and then just win the game. And I'm like, oh, phew. crazy. Crazy. Oh, here we go. And I'm up against a Phantom Poison deck. Wow, it's going to be interesting, I haven't seen anyone with uh, Venus or with that, but it's going to be both of each other getting our mons punished. So the good thing is, I'm going to hopefully look to save um, my Toad for his Lunala, and if I can save my Toad for his Lunala, <clears throat> then I don't have to worry about it at least. So that's... An interesting call, I must say. I'm just gonna move my crowbat up. Threaten both entries and then next turn I can take either one. That is the okay. Interesting. So I'm just gonna take this entry here since I've got a surround set up on the second entry. If I can survive an attack, no. As I say, if I can survive an attack I can look to take it out next turn. Um, actually, Mega Ginga Mega Ginga there was probably a mistake. I should've, probably should have gone for Coco. And here is why. That Mega Ginga can come out. He's either got to attack Kroger and win or Ginga for it to be effective. I've still got another turn to defend. So I can go back and do that now. Um, Oh, and he doesn't even attack. That's very interesting. So, I think I'm probably best off moving defensively with Toad. Um, I can either, if I go down with Toad, put my goal, I can probably get Coco next to the entry. Um, I don't want to burn my goal block with Venus or Jassy. So, Toad is probably my best bet at moving Toad back down and uh, a goal block would be no wow. I was expecting to move right down on my goal. So this is a bonus. Now oh, he's going to get me toxic, zero MP. I've got a scoop up so I don't have to worry about that. But that's going to be night night to his Mega Ginga. This is like <laughs> the best thing that I could hope for. Uh, when I fought Venus, I was like, well, you know what, maybe I can put him to sleep if he attacks me on goal. If, I, I was expecting him to move next to goal, but I'll take this around, get me again, get out of there so I don't have to worry about him. And now, wow, this guy, and see this is what I mean about, oh, he's going for the shadow flip one. So the good thing about my toad is, um, got a lot of blue. He could have easily gone for that one there, and if I got that one, man, that just would have been crazy. I probably could have attacked there, but I'm just at the stage where I don't really want to. And wow, he didn't even block off my Crobat. This is this guy is crazy. Um, but I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, if he went down Shadow Flip one, I'll be or just rush down one. That's what they've been doing, and man. Uh, it's not nice, I must say. <laughs> it is not nice. So, I'm just going to take it now. I should probably should have done this last turn. There we go. And now that's going to leave him open to now come and attack with Toad. Or, I mean, he's already got me poisoned. He can poison my Toad. Or he can, he can look to move back on my Crobats. Alright, I'll take the poison. He's got the seed on me, which I didn't notice. Um, so, 
sea level are totally actually really nice. Um, Venusaur, Mega Venusaur, and Phantom. So if I was him, I definitely would have pulled my Toad back, attack the Crobat. Although if if I had gotten uh, um, if I had gotten a uh, wow, this guy's. Why would you attack Venusaur? The only winning role for you is if I get 50. I don't get that. Um, but what I will do is start moving up with my um, Coco. If I can attack him, if I, if I got gold, that, that would have been alright. We're both poisoned, so I could be doing this. Actually, no, he would still beat me if I got gold on damage. Uh, and he'll beat me here too. So that's right. This guy, like, he's got Phantom. He should be attacking goal. Oh, the double goalie KO. That is crazy. Well, I'll take that one anyway. I was going to look to move Gengar out next turn, but now that I don't need to, I'll just take that. I will take that. Toad is just earthquaking up everything right recently and it is crazy. It is crazy how many earthquake kills I've been getting. I'll take that rainbow as well. And that's gonna be my last key fragment for the day, so I'll open up my lock booster and then I think we'll be done. So got my thirty my first white boost I've had in a while. I'm glad that they're half an hour only I must say. Gold booster, and I get uh, 50 team points. So I'm going to be opening up my lock booster right about now. See what we can get. And like some of those. Oh, wow. Yes, second time. Look at that. That is awesome. And a rear cube on top. That is. I can now do like the double toad decks and phantom decks and things like that. So. But that is going to be nice, so I'll definitely be happy with a seismitoad. That was a, I, wow, speechless, speechless. Um, I'll definitely take a toad as a very, very usable one. I probably won't use him as a C level. I'll definitely keep him because two can be good, like the guy before I just faced. I mean, he could have done a whole lot better and played a whole lot better. And that's, that's the thing about running a deck like this in, in the team event is that when you're facing a whole bunch of lower people, you can just outclass them. And that that's what my idea was, just outclass them, slow things down so they can't rush. Um, and it's working for me so far. And I've got a whole lot of these fusions to do. So got some fusions to do, then I've got to pick up my toad later. Um, well, I am going to leave it there. don't want to make it bore you guys by making you watch me fuse things away. I've got four EX cubes now, which is awesome. I'm going to try and take my making a level 5 eventually. I've been putting it off and I'll probably keep putting it off. I don't have that much cubes here. So, anyway. Oh, I'm, I'm going to sort out my fusing and get, get on top of everything. I've got quite a few of the ones I want to take up to level them up and have some fun with, but that's, yeah, and you guys don't need to see this, so we'll see you all soon and hopefully you have some more decks to play with. Definitely going to be doing a Typhlosion deck soon. I've got some good ideas for him and I'm glad I've finally got him. So... Um, well, I want to level up on the type version. Is that 90? I want him for damage and attacking. Hot air is okay, but being a one star, mm, not that great. Um, so I want to go there with Carmelite. He's going to be amazing. With that, with that, I actually still am amazing, but pretty cool runner at a one to 110. So you know, I want to leave him there. Not gonna, not gonna bore you guys anymore with <laughs> the fusions. So we'll see you all shortly.